DGI is a perfect example of Chinese ambitions in tech. The company dominates the global drone market with a more than 70% market share. Its high-performance drone improved over tribal experience, filming flexibility, wireless queue safety, spraying efficiency in agriculture, and more. Founded in 2006, DGI has acquired the legendary Swedish camera brand Hasselblad and nestling with the battle against the GoPro in drone market. Today, we will look at the story of DGI. Let's start! DGI was founded in 2006 by Frank Wang at the age of 26. Frank was born into a middle-class family in China. When he was a child, he read a helicopter adventure story in a children's book, then became obsessed with aviation and everything in the sky. In school, Frank was not the straight A student with perfect grade. As an encouragement, his father promised a model helicopter as an incentive, and indeed it worked. Frank got his first aviation toy. At that time, these model helicopters were not easy to control. One day, Frank's helicopter crashed. Frank then started to carefully disassemble his helicopter, and a spark was created in the process making a helicopter easy to control for everyone. In 2003, Frank applied for the top-tier universities like Stanford and MIT to pursue his helicopter dream, but he was declined by both of them. Finally, he entered Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. His graduation project was Helicopter Autonomous Hovering Technology. During the presentation, Frank's helicopter actually lost control. He only received a C. But luckily, Professor Li Zhejiang took note of the young man. Li's research area has been motion control and robotics. He saw the potential in Frank and his project. Professor Li watched for Frank and took him under his wing as a graduate student. In the very same year when Frank started his master's degree in 2006, he founded DGI, Dajiang Innovation. Da Jiang literally means large terrain in Chinese, a proper name for a joint company's ambition. DGI was based in Shenzhen, the Chinese Silicon Valley, where Tencent and Huawei had cultured as well. Shenzhen used to be a small fish village. In the early 1980s, Deng Xiaoping, the leader of Chinese economic reforms, started to promote reform and opening up policy. Bordering Hong Kong, Shenzhen was chosen as the first special economic zone. The city issued a series of preferential policies to attract foreign investment and has now become the most important tech city in China. At the start, DJI used to focus on the helicopter flight control system. Its first product, XP3.1, came out in 2008, selling 1,000 per month to the universities and domestic companies. While selling their product, Frank got to know that many amateurs loved to add their flight control system on their own drones. But it was not easy to find a high-quality drones on the market in the first place. That gave Frank an idea. Besides helicopters, if DJI could extend product to multi-rotor aircraft, that would be a much larger customer base. DJI started research on multi-rotor aircraft then sold the hardware with their control system as an integrated package. Step by step, DJI accumulated the basic capacities that we understand a modern drone would need. Flight control system, aircraft hardware, stabilizer, propeller, gimbal and others. Then the rise of story naturally unfolded. DJI drones came up. Frank is a perfectionist. He doesn't like most tech brands in China because those brands claim to go overseas, but in many cases, that means exporting to less developed market. However, Frank only wants to make the top tier products in the world, like Apple. In 2011, Frank made a key move, go to North America. At the trade show, Frank met Colin Green. Colin was running an aerial photography startup in the United States and was looking for a way to capture stable videos using drones. Frank's research on the gimbal stabilization was exactly what Colin needed. They partnered up, later established DJI's North American subsidiary. At the beginning, the collaboration went smoothly. 
In 2013, DJI released its first ready-to-play quadcopter consumer drone, Phantom. Very quickly, the Phantom 2 version was released within one year, integrated with a high-definition camera and supported image transmission in real-time. It was named one of the top 10 tech innovations of 2014 by Time magazine. But in 2014, Frank and Colin broke up. Colin sued DJI and joined DJI's competitor, 3D Robotics. Well, this accident didn't stop DJI's worldwide domination. In 2015, DJI acquired a large stake in the Swedish camera manufacturer Hasselblad. Hasselblad is well known in the aerial imaging field, and its camera has been used in the photography mission for the first human moon landing. This acquisition helped DJI solidify its position in the field of aerial photography. DJI's outstanding performance in American TV production earned it the Emmy Award. DJI joins gained global popularity in such a short time, partly based on the change of using GoPro action camera to film extreme sports in America and Europe. Actually, DJI and GoPro once cooperated on DJI's drone's camera, but somehow the partnership didn't last. After the ending of their collaboration, DJI and GoPro went head to head in the competition. In September 2016, GoPro launched a foldable quadcopter drone, Kama. But just within two years, GoPro shuttered its drone division. In the meantime, DJI's awesome action camera went to market and received a very positive reaction from the extreme sports and adventurous community. During these years, DJI's joints became more compact and digitally empowered. Besides the Pantam series, DJI launched the Mavic series that can be cleverly folded. Spark series is as small as a palm and also introduced new features such as facial recognition and gesture control. Furthermore, in order to comply with the regulations in China, many series weighed less than 249 grams, so users don't have to apply for a draw flight permit. The new Avata Cambo provides an immersive flight experience with DJI's gaggle and motion controller. Meanwhile, DJI's products improved efficiency and safety in commercial and industrial applications. Its specially designed agriculture joints are widely used in seed supplying and data collection. Matrix series joints and Zenmuse cameras go into the scenes of fire to do the inspection on behalf of human. And this kind of work extends to cable maintenance, rescue and search, policing and more. Robin series stabilizers and cameras are used in filming, especially for operating in narrow spaces. DJI's ambition seems not limited to the sky. In April 2021, DJI announced its automobile division, aiming to become a top brand of smart cars. DJI has previously accumulated strong capacities in sensory, large-scale computing, algorithm, and software. This technology could form a good springboard for DJI's autonomous driving ambition. I believe you are also curious about if DJI could disrupt this smart car driving market competing with traditional Jans and Tesla. This is the entrepreneurship story of DJI, hope you enjoy it. This channel focuses on Asia's interesting startups and products. Welcome to subscribe to my channel, I'm Ichi, see you in next video, bye! Step by step, DJI accumulate... Thank you.